thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you got a chance to watch all the other best practices that we have published in our YouTube channel. And uh, you know, especially if you are going through a WMS uh, implementation or a you know, WMS upgrade or, or you know, completely you know, switching from one WMS to another WMS or you're getting a brand new WMS, right? It's a, it's a good idea to watch all those best practices and get a handle on, you know, what are the key aspects that you have to pay attention to that's, that's relevant for your business, right? When you get that right, everything else kind of falls in place and everything else is easy. So here, you know, today uh, I'm going to talk about something very, very basic. And, 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 and I've seen often, you know, I mean, we think it's all basic and everyone knows how to do this, but often you see, oh my God, you know, uh, uh, you know, we are not doing this correctly. And it's very simple thing. It's just running meetings effectively, right? It's, 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 it's very, very basic. And, and I learned a great deal, you know, from, especially from consultants and, and, uh, doing consulting myself because the consultants get built at a very, very high rate. I mean, for example, I've been to, uh, sites where I got built at like, you know, $285 per hour, uh, because that was the value that we brought to the table, you know, as a team. And, and, uh, it was all, uh, you know, highly challenging, complicated problems we solved for them. And, and imagine one hour of my time is wasted for whatever reason, right? That's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, we did not add value for our customer for that one hour. And that's not a good place to be in. We don't want to be, you know, like that, right? Especially when you are a consultant and they've trusted, um, you know, their operation, their business, their systems with us. It's a, it's a very important thing to, you know, take care of that, especially the trust, right? So, um, you know, meetings, running meetings is, is running meetings effectively is extremely important and, and, you know, um, uh, making progress in the project, making sure the right stakeholders are informed, making sure, you know, um, every single team member, you know, is, is, is actively participating and providing their updates. And, you know, if they are stuck, especially if there is a red flag, if they are stuck and, they're not getting what they wanted. They need to immediately raise their uh, flag and say, "Hey guys, I need help." So, you know, it's all it's all on the project manager, right? So the project manager owns, you know, uh, the project, and he owns running these meetings effectively. So there has to be an agenda. There has to be a very very clear agenda. Hey, the first item we are going to discuss, the second item we are going to discuss, third item we are going to discuss, and fourth item we are going to discuss. And the number of people. At least in my mind should not be more than five or six because, you know, I still remember this was one of the, uh, you know, um, um, face to face meetings that we would call us and I had in one of the large corporation that I worked for. And there one person sent out a meeting invite inviting 10 people and then like 50 people showed up. The room was uh, not able to accommodate all the people that showed up. And some people came from Europe all the way to, uh, you know, uh, Houston, Texas. So. It's it's because everybody had to have a say in it and, and everybody had been impacted and, and that's why they all showed up and they had budget and they you know got their travel approved and they showed up. It was it was amazing how how things you know quickly can get out of hand, right? Especially in you know larger corporations. So it's it's but it doesn't matter whether it's large or small, it's very important to run these meetings effectively because four people sit together and they're uh, not doing anything for one hour and then talking something and nothing happens, you know, that's, uh, you know, with the all the rates, uh, you know, that's going on, you probably wasted at least $100 per hour per person. So that is $400 wasted right there for that one hour, right? So if you look at it that way, you know, it will <laughs> make a lot of sense. So it's very important to have a clear agenda. And, and it's very important to have, hey, what is that we are talking about, right? In this item, Hey, here is the discussion point. Here is the decision we got to make either this or that or combination of this. But these are some things that we have to resolve right then and there, right? Very, very quickly. Um, so, you know, and, and this is all on the project manager. So it's his job to make sure the agenda is planned and everybody is aware of all the, uh, you know, um, talking points, all the, you know, inputs for the talking points, all the, uh, you know, details that are needed, right? Uh, so everybody needs to be aware of that. And, and hopefully, you know, they, they read all that they prepared really well when before they came for the week. That's why in Amazon, they have something called this quiet time before the meeting or after the meeting starts. And everybody spends 10 or 15 minutes just reviewing, you know, the background for the meeting. And then only they start talking, right? Something like that. So, you know, smart people, companies like Amazon, smart companies, they manage, they understand the importance of meetings and everyone's time and they manage that very, very rigorously, right? That's important. 
And and the second thing is, you know, if there is a item that uh, you know, as a team, as a meet in the meeting, you guys run into, and if you're not able to figure out, there is no point in just you know going in circles, talking that again and again. Instead, you have to park it, and then somebody has to own it, put a name next to the action item, and then move on, right? Because how many ever times you talk, you know, that cannot be resolved in that room in that meeting because there is someone else that needs to be involved. Uh, to get the answer for that, right? Park it and then move on. So at the end of the day, the project manager can summarize, hey, here is what the minutes of the meeting is, and this is what the action items came out of it, and we need to get this resolved as soon as possible. So go back to the other person that was not at the meeting and talk to them, right? And then also do, you know, a little bit of cat herding. I mean, sometimes what happens is when some person comes in and, you know, they take over the meeting and then they completely talk irrelevant stuff. You know, I, I still remember so well, this was my... Um, one of the very first design discussions where I was supposedly leading um, um, the whole design discussion and I was standing there and then I was whiteboarding all the different um, processes and steps and things like that. And one person took over this meeting and then something and all, you know, came up and this person was talking and talking and talking and completely the meeting got hijacked and, and it took some time. Finally, we had to, you know, call a timeout and then took a take a break. And, 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 you know, uh, bring back everyone together. So we kind of wasted at least 30 minutes in that thing and did not accomplish anything, right? And, and when you have six, seven people, so that's like at least, you know, um, all of their time is wasted and, and we did not run a, you know, do a good job running that meeting. So, you know, it's simple things like this. So, you know, it would, you would, you would, you know, especially if you establish that discipline and established culture of running those effective meetings. Hey, these are the things I got to have an agenda before any meeting starts and all the, you know, time has to be blocked in everyone's calendar and people have to accept that meeting. So, you know, every, everyone knows that everyone is showing up and, and, and we can, uh, you know, get our, our objective accomplished in the meeting, right? Um, so, you know, have that, you know, do that really, really well. Then everybody will be cognizant of everyone's time. You know, the culture itself changes. Everyone is aware of, oh my God, you know, I got to, I got to be really prepared. Everyone else is going to be really prepared and I don't want to waste anybody else's time, right? And, and that's very important to, you know, uh, diligently do that because that sets the tone for the entire organization. So, you know, that's something to think about. I mean, I, I could, I could write a, you know, book on how to run meetings, right? But I just brought it up because, you know, in WM is a lot of design discussions that happen, a lot of project management, um, you know, stuff that we get done. We are moving the project. We are moving, you know, different work streams, you know, carrying them together and we are getting a lot of tasks done. Um, if you lose the, you know, efficiency in terms of running meetings, then you're going to waste a lot of time. And that means and there are several really, you know, um, expensive consultants that are involved and they are very expensive, you know, sometimes, you know, easily $200, $300 per hour. So you don't want to waste all those dollars, right? If you run effectively, you could, you know, get the project done at a lower cost too, right? So that's something to keep in mind. And, and this is not, you know, the throw into when, you know, best practices for running meetings, but this is a, you know, um, while you're, you know, uh, very highly focused on getting your WMS right, this is something from a project management perspective, keep it in mind and make sure you have a good, you know, really thorough, uh, you know, project manager and, you know, instill this discipline across everybody, say that hey, meetings are important, we got to be very effective, very efficient and on to the point, right? Something to think about. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, you know, thank you once again for uh, joining this video and you know uh, share your thoughts in the comments and uh, thanks once again